Ladies, possibly gentlemen, we don't know. We didn't see anyone's faces. You are not here only to date, but possibly marry Cash, okay? We've been through everything together. And if you hurt his feelings, I will come and find you. You're gonna treat him well, and there's no exceptions. Hello, my name is Cash, or Cash Marco, and I'm mostly just a YouTuber who likes to do gaming a lot, but on the side, I like to go to the gym, spend time with my family, and long walks on the beach, of course. My YouTube channels are mostly gaming. I have three of them in total, and I've been doing it for about 10 years now, so it's been like half my life. I'm feeling good about this. Obviously, I'm a little nervous. I feel like everyone's gonna be a little nervous, but I'm honestly excited, and maybe I will find my girlfriend here. Maybe not. It's a YouTube video, so. Who knows? Can I turn around? <laughs> what if I don't want to? Can I just stay like this? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll turn around. Oh, they're all Minecraft vlogs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, I can't see any of you guys. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Just, yeah. No. Kind of. Can't? Barely. Just know I'm very tall and handsome. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not lying about one of those. This is crazy. I've never dated six girls at once, so this is a win for me, to be honest. But also, I can't see any of them, so please, nobody get offended if I vote you out. Okay, my first question is, what is your biggest red flag in a guy? Hmm. If he doesn't like cats, I immediately have the ick. No hats? No cats. If he doesn't <laughs> no like cats. cats. Oh, yeah. I love cats. So that's a good thing. You have a cat? Yeah, I have four. Okay. For me, my biggest red flag in a guy is when they can't take a joke. I like banter and I feel like I have a really weird sense of humor. So I hate a guy that's like too sensitive and maybe they won't laugh at my jokes. Or what kind of jokes? Are they dark jokes? Yeah, like everything. I have okay. like a really just weird sense of humor. Okay, cool. I would say that my biggest red flag in men is when they're really cocky, like they don't know how to apologize. I just hate that. Humility is like a really big thing for me. True, very one-sided people. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would say my biggest red flag is definitely a guy who is such a dry texter. Can that you not think sense. of anything fun to say? I hate that too, that's fine. <laughs> I would say my biggest red flag for a guy is if they like only talk about themselves and don't really express any interest in getting to know me. That's fair. I would say my biggest red flag is if they have no humor, if they're not a good conversationalist. I like to keep things light. I like to have fun. So. Okay, so it's mostly humor and understanding. That makes sense. And cats. <laughs> and cats. <laughs> I think my biggest red flag is obviously cheating. Okay, I'm gonna say two here. Cheating is like the number one red flag. You can't come back from that. Uh, and then number two is if somebody has no goals, I feel like it's, it's really hard to improve as a person with them. So if there's a girl that I wanna date, but she doesn't really wanna do anything with her life and doesn't really have any aspirations to improve, whether that's on herself or in her relationship or career, then that's kind of a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. Question number two is I just wanna to get to know you guys. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber. I love making videos and playing games. So I wanted to know your guys' hobbies. Um, so my hobby is to like, role play as a 57 year old lady named Janice on Discord. Uh -huh. And it's really fun. <laughs> okay. That's your main hobby? That's the one you wanted to say? I, I'm chronically online, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, that and gaming, I spend like most of my free time doing that. Okay, true. What, what game do you play the most? Uh, CSGO. Okay, so you just go. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, her hobbies sound really fun. I want to try out that first thing you said for sure. <laughs> yeah. Mine are a little more basic and tame. I really like going to the gym. I like soul cycle. Staying active and doing things like that are fun. Traveling, that's a big one for me too. And then just, I also like content creation. I love making TikToks. I love vlogging and editing, things like that, so. Okay, we share a lot of the same ones. I love going to the gym yeah. and traveling. Nice. Okay. I like making YouTube videos a lot. I like playing spike ball. And I also really love watching movies. Like I'm really big on movies, especially animated ones. You like movies? You like going to the theater? Because I yes, honestly hate I the theater sometimes. I love the theater. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I feel like theater should be 21 and up because there's a lot of little kids that'll go in and just oh. <laughs> ruin a movie. But yeah, that's cool. Um, my hobbies, I feel like they already said it, but I love being active. I go to the gym and I do a lot of weightlifting. Um, I collect Pokemon cards, so I'm really into that. I go to Frankenstein's a lot, do like trade shows, uh, and I like to read a lot. Would you be willing to teach me about Pokemon? Heck Is yeah, I, I probably won't be able All to like stop talking it. about it. My hobbies, I'm a big creative, so I really like making YouTube videos. I like acting, singing, and songwriting, as well as like writing um, and gaming. That's a lot. How do you do all that just by yourself? 
I consider myself very driven. I like to make my creative and my my creative things and my passions kind of like my job in a way. True. So I kind of I treat it all like a like a job. So I like to invest a lot of time in the things that make me happy. Okay. These are good hobbies. I would say my hobbies are photography. I do film photography, concert photography. I'm also on my college's radio station, so I am also a DJ. And yeah, I'd say also going to the movies, watching movies, and then gaming, of course. Oh, this is gonna be a lot harder than expected. <laughs> oh, geez. All these hobbies, I could, I could definitely get along with because I like doing everything you guys like doing. I'm not big on reading, but I like audiobooks. Maybe that's the only thing, but I could learn. I still don't know how to read. Man, this is gonna be so tough. <laughs> oh. So, Cash, you have to eliminate one person. Ah, oh, this is so early. Oh, please don't be mad at me. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Number four, I think I'm gonna eliminate you just because I don't think, just like hobby-wise, maybe I wouldn't be what you're looking for. I'm sorry. This was hard. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi, what's your name? I'm Cash. I'm Faith. Faith? Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I couldn't breathe in there, so. It's okay, okay. You were probably happy then. Yeah. I relieved you. Yes, thank you. Go ahead. <sighs> this is gonna be so tough. I was definitely surprised to have been the first one out, but more so surprised because it was for the reason that I read. Like, sorry, my vocabulary might be bigger than yours. Wanna level up? Get the Nectar app. For round two, we have invited J-Man and Socks to come ask questions Ooh. on behalf of their friend and to determine who they think is best for cash. Ready, gentlemen? Can I whisper Ready? to them? Guys, you wanna speak to us? Don't mess this up for me, okay? These are very nice girls, don't hurt their feelings. Uh, All right? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> do don't we look like the type to hurt some feelings? I, I know both of you guys. We're talking to females today? Bro, they sent the memo out like... Are you serious? Oh, I'm sorry. I've never even talked to a woman in my life. We know what you want. You are in our best interest. No, yes. you guys, <laughs> you guys are not gonna do this. Ladies. Possibly gentlemen, we don't know. We didn't see anyone's faces. You are not here only to date, but possibly marry Cash, okay? <laughs> Our boy, okay? We've been through everything together. And if you hurt his feelings, I will come and find you. You're gonna treat him well, and there's no exceptions. <laughs> All right, so who seems the most suspicious here? Hmm. Uh, suspicious? That one. <laughs> the Enderman, bro. It's the Enderman. All right, look, Enderman. It's date night. It's time for you two to have a wonderful evening. Where are you taking my boy? He should be taking me. Ooh, interesting response. There's a lot to gather from that answer. He's a, he's a very busy guy, you know? Yeah, he's, he's working. Breadwinner. Wakes up in the morning, grind mindset, okay? Grind set. <laughs> you got something else going for yourself, you know? Because he, he's a busy guy, you know? I, he can't be there all the time. I am a full-time student. I grind. Don't even talk about grinding. Mm. That's true. I am on that grind set. Grinder. Two, okay. two I am on grinders, that grind set one all day, every day. Bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a question for Dirt Block over here. Dirt Block. Oh, so no. look, it's time for you to go do an outdoor activity together. You're, you have a piece of grass on your head. So okay. what's the most amazing outdoor activity that you two could do together? Well, I don't really know what he's good at, but I really like, I mentioned this earlier, spike ball or pickleball, or maybe go on a hike or go to the beach. I don't know. So many options. The outdoors are just amazing. A lot of leg movement. Well, see, now I'm thinking what I was into, because I'm like, <laughs> I like pickleball, but it's not about me. Okay, it's not about me. All right, it's Cash's birthday, and he wants to celebrate. What flavor cake are you making him? Um, I'd probably burn it first, um, but it would probably start out like chocolate, and then maybe I'll put some strawberries on there. Hey, chocolate and strawberries are an aphrodisiac, bro. <laughs> Very good. Very good. True, true. I love birthdays. I like going full out for birthdays, so not only would I decorate his room, and then bring him breakfast in bed. I would make him a three-layer cake. Oh, three-layer cake? I'm not sure what his favorite flavors are, but I'll go with the most big, basic ones. Chocolate, vanilla, and then of course a mix of every other flavor out there in the world. <laughs> Cash as a person has a lot of layers. So oh, that's like something an onion. To consider. Yes. Onion flavored cake. I don't know if that would slide. But <laughs> if you know. he wants it. <laughs> Probably a Funfetti cake. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. And honestly, I probably wouldn't make three layers because like if it's just us eating the cake, I don't want there to be left over, you know? Wait, no one's invited to the party? Oh, well, I just <laughs> wanted it to be just us. Oh, just you? Oh, oh so romantic. Oh, oh, 
Oh. Sounds pretty nice, man. I would definitely ask him what his favorite flavor is and make sure to like get a really thoughtful gift and plan a whole day around his birthday and his favorite things. Um, but I feel like for the cake, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy here. I really like the idea of a cookie cake. There's a lot of like creativity and freedom there. You can get a really big one, and it kind of lasts a while. I feel like sometimes a cake can like have a little bit of an expiration date, but I feel like a cookie cake can go go a long while. You know, whatever flakes your bake, man. <laughs> oh, do you think you can top all of this? Potentially. Potentially. Oh, let's, hear let's, hear let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Obviously, I would consult you guys first. Oh, so checking Ooh. in with the whole You're his best first. friend. <laughs> and going in. But good. here's okay. my proposal. I let's go to Air One. I buy the midnight chocolate cake. Midnight chocolate. And then I go and get his face printed on the cake. Oh. Dude, who doesn't want to keep on looking at that face? I need his face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, come on, <laughs> we'll be eating his face. It's okay, they're, they're good, they're wife material. All right, dude, wife I, material. I, I like where this is going. All right, look, one thing you guys should know about Cash, he's a very hard worker. This guy puts his head down and he doesn't stop. So what can you do to help him progress with his work? How can you support him from behind the scenes? Um, basically, while he's working, I'm going to keep playing video games and look cute doing it, and maybe, yeah, that'll motivate him. Okay, so she wants to be eye candy. Mm, yeah, gosh. yeah, yeah. Um, so I know he said that he likes YouTube and content creation. I don't know if he likes doing that by himself, but if he's interested in like collaborating, I'd love to help him by helping him edit his videos, come up with ideas, things like that. Just really be a big supporter for him in terms of like creativity and helping with him with ideas. So helping the power, business. Yeah, power couple know, thing. Exactly. Okay, maybe respect. couple channel? Oh, yeah, family those do channel. really well. Mm -hmm. And big shit. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm saying, come on. My love language is acts of service, so I would probably help him out. Like if he has little things he needs to do, maybe like clean his room. I'm super organized and clean, so I think I'd be good at that. Or maybe help with the dishes or something. Have you seen Cash's room? It's clean. Oh my bad. <laughs> it's clean. It's tidy. <laughs> I'm sure I could find something else to do. Fair. I think something that really driven, busy people really appreciate is accountability for staying on top of their stuff. I'm also very driven, I like to work a lot, so I would maybe schedule times we could co-work and then kind of keep each other in check and focused while having little breaks to like chit chat and stuff and then remembering to get back to our work and then being like, hey, have you accomplished this today? Like, how do you feel? Do you feel proud of yourself? Ooh, okay, okay. each of them like giving goals for yeah. like each other, you know, just yeah. like reaching for the stars. Yeah. Are you where you want to be right now? Ooh. Absolutely. Motivation. Okay. So I heard Cash is a content creator. Mm -hmm. I'm really big into comedy, so I can inject a lot of humor and help him with his humor. Mm. So you're saying Wherever he's not possible. funny though? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know him. Fair. Fair. But I do run a meme account. Wait, a meme account like on what? On Instagram. On Instagram, Whoa, on meme, meme page, bro. Dude, you're okay. <laughs> constant jokes, laughing all the time. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. This is so harmonious Ooh. together. All right, so that's the end of the round. <laughs> you guys will have to eliminate two people. Two? <laughs> okay, first of Steve. Uh, double on, chest, enderman. Oh, wait, hold on. Really? No. No, no, no. I love Okay. You. Me? Yeah, it's on you, bro. <clears throat> we're ready. Okay. This is nerve wracking, you know? Yeah. We we're hope we're doing the right thing for cash. This is for cash. Today is cash day. The <clears throat> first person, it's a creeper. The reason why is because I feel like the other answers were much more of a backbone for cash. They want to see him succeed. They want to see him have a bright future. And um, I'm sorry to say, but you can blow up out of here. <laughs> I was gonna say, if she got near cash, she would blow up. You know, like literally. Did we make a mistake? Oh, we made a mistake. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Just so it wasn't my decision. It's okay. These it's guys okay. are making on behalf bad of decisions for me. Sorry. What's your name? Celeste. You're really pretty. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It was nice to meet you, Celeste. Same. You boys are in trouble tonight. <laughs> um, it was okay, I guess. I wasn't expecting to go so soon, but it's okay. All right. Mm. After years of consideration, okay? I was already stalking for years and years. Mm -hmm. Everything, every little detail about your lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the answer, I will go, Enderman. Your answers were amazing, but it's just a high difference. And that's oh. why 
I believe it won't work out. I'm a tall girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yo, we just did cash I'm sorry. dirty, bro. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's your name? My name is Sloan. Yeah, I'm sorry. This this it's is so hard. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Hey, she's cool about it, man. I mean, respect. Yeah. I was voted out because I was too tall. I totally agree. I am looking for someone to either match me or be in the same height range, preferably. But they are really funny, and I'd love to get to know him and his friends better. Y'all are lucky, okay? Y'all better treat him right, okay? He's an absolute catch. But I think you guys are all catches as well. Okay? All right, so can, can they get out now? Can, can they Cash leave? brings home the bacon, <laughs> the, the lettuce, and the tomato. He's are, the whole you, sandwich. You guys are okay? ruining my life. You guys anymore. don't understand. Cash you guys are ruining my life. Uh, 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 why, why are you holding my hand? Uh, 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 Whatever, what dude. Am I am I gonna be invited to the wedding? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Now I want to get a little bit deeper into the questions. First, I'm gonna ask: Have you been in a previous relationship? And if you have. How did it end? Yeah, so I was in one that ended kind of a while ago, maybe around like January. I was really bummed because I was excited for my first Valentine's Day. It ended before that could happen. But we were long distance. It just wasn't going to work because I'm someone who likes spending time with my partner. I admit I can get pretty clingy here and there. And so I think I was becoming too clingy just depending on him a little bit too much and he couldn't meet my needs. He wasn't affectionate with me anymore. I think he might've lost feelings. So he ended up dumping me on the phone. So do you think it was mainly your fault, his fault, or kind of just like both? I think we just weren't compatible. So I think it was like both of us. And then I also think situational. Okay, that's yeah. very mature. Yeah, I was for two years. It ended super peacefully. We're friends now, but we're not talking. We're on like no contact. The reason it ended is just because he wasn't the right person for me. Like I didn't see myself being able to marry him because for one, like our conversations weren't as fulfilling as I wanted them to be. And that's a really big thing for me. Uh, yes, I was recent, or like not recently, but I was, I have been in a previous relationship and it was about two years. And literally the day after our two year anniversary, I got a hey girly text um, and he had cheated on me. Oh, I'm sorry. Happens. It makes you feel better, I also got cheated on. Damn, I'm sorry. And it was on February 13th, so right before Valentine's <gasps> oh, Day. Dang! Well. But no, it's good. It's all good now. Same. Okay, so I asked in the first round, what was the biggest red flag in a guy? Now I want to know, what's the biggest green flag in a guy? Number one. I love when a guy is compassionate and just a guy who simply listens to your needs and meets them. Like, I love guys whose love language is acts of service. So if you tell them that you've been craving a certain drink and then they surprise you with it, I think that's a huge green flag. It shows that they're a good listener. It shows that they genuinely care about you. Do you want to ask me a question? Um, so we met your best friends. They were really funny. I liked them a lot. How would they describe you in three words? Oh, man. Their perspective of me is not very great. <laughs> They'd probably describe me as hardworking, short, <laughs> and successful. Those are good words. I like that. Not the second one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Question number two for the middle girl. Let's say I'm out and I'm busy and I'm, I'm not responding to my phone. What's your first steps? And if I'm still not responding to you, what do you resort to. Wait, how long are you not responding to me? Let's say I don't respond for a full day. To oh, you. okay. How do you react? Well, at first, honestly, I'm not really big on texting. Like, it's okay if we're not texting all the time. So if you don't reply, I'd kind of just assume that you're working or something. But if it's a whole day, I might get worried and maybe reach out to one of your family members through Instagram or something. Okay. That's respectable. As long as you don't crash out, go crazy, <laughs> and start posting about me. That's fine. I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> and then a question that I had for you is, what are your favorite and least favorite things about yourself? Uh, my favorite things about myself are probably that uh, I have a really big work ethic. I spend a lot of time with my family, which I really love. And I can be comfortable being alone. So I live alone, I spend a lot of time just by myself and I'm very happy. Uh, and then some things that I don't like about myself is sometimes I'm a little too nice to where it'll enable someone to, you know, take advantage of me or do something bad and uh, screw me over. A second thing I don't like about myself is I'm really bad at making someone feel like I care about them. So sometimes if I'm really enveloped into my work, uh, I might not respond to them or I may, you know, 
be short-tempered if something's going bad with my work, and obviously I won't mean it in the moment, but sometimes I'll make someone feel underappreciated, and that's something that I really want to work on myself for. That was a super good answer, thank you. I'm gonna steal that question, because number three, <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing you really like about yourself and one thing you really dislike? I feel very similar to you. That's what's interesting, because I was sitting there, I was like nodding my little chest, head, sorry. <laughs> um, and um, one thing I really like about myself is how I'm able to throw myself in my work. Like I really, even if it's like something creative passion, it's not just like whatever, like is like giving me income at that time. If it's just making me happy or I'm passionate about it, I throw myself into it into a really big degree and I want to see how far I can take it. But then one thing I don't like is that often I fall into those spirals of getting really hard working and I'm really good at being alone. So then I kind of, my, some of my relationships kind of falter because of that. Um, and I wish I prioritized that a little bit more or balanced that a little bit more. Yeah, that's a good answer. Nice. Thank you. Okay, let's say you're already dating someone for like a while, so you already got the formal dates out of the way. What's a really fun night in that you guys get to do together? Yeah, I would say what I enjoy mostly is, you know, playing video games together, going to watch sports. I really love basketball, so it's a plus if they like basketball. Or we could watch movies, but also I'm very open to doing anything else. I like just spending time mostly. It's not just about me, so if my partner wants to do something, even if I don't enjoy it, maybe I'll just do it for them, just so they can have fun. You ready to vote, Cash? No, okay. <laughs> I would pick all three of you, by the way. I'm, I literally, this is the hardest decision of my life. Okay. I'm not gonna have a reason for this. Okay, you know what? First person I'm gonna choose is number two. Honestly, I have no idea why I chose you because I can't think of any reason. You, you said everything great. You said nothing bad. I don't disagree with a lot of the things you said. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, hi, what's your name? Grace, nice to meet Grace, you. Grace, nice to meet you too. You guys are cruel. This, <laughs> this game show sucks. <laughs> it was really fun talking to you. You're it was super fun cool. talking to you too. Thanks for being on. You're welcome. You're Bye. super cool. Thank you. Honestly, I was really sad when I got eliminated because I thought he was super cute. I do feel a little frustrated because I feel like I didn't properly represent myself. Like I could have answered some of the questions better. I'm just not super good off the top of my head, but overall it was fun and good. Okay. This is gonna be purely off of just randomness, but I think I'm going to eliminate number two, the chest. And the reason why only because I really liked her cake answer. <laughs> I knew the cake was gonna get me, dude. I really did. <laughs> That's the only good reason I could have thought of. Oh, man. Hey. Hi, what's your name? I'm Jillian. Julian? Jillian, yeah. Jillian, it's nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet sorry. You. No Again, I had no reason. It was really fun talking to you. It was fun talking to you, too. Have fun. Thanks for coming on. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you got it. Bye, thanks. Bye. Honestly, I was just happy I made it as far as I did, but um, I was a little disappointed that my reason for being eliminated was my cookie cake answer, but I'm proud of myself for staying true to myself because I'm not going to hide the fact that I love a good cookie cake. You're the one I chose. Yay. <laughs>Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Regine. Regine? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Thank okay. you so much for choosing me. Of course. <laughs> okay, you know what? It worked out. I'm not sad anymore. Yay. <laughs> Let's go. We can play It Takes Two and I'll make that cake for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You had really good answers. Thank you. That's so nice. It worked. Do you think you two would go on a second date? Yeah, I would. For sure, I'd love yeah. to. And I will say this is a very unique experience. I've never dated someone wearing a Minecraft head, but I genuinely had a good time. I had so much fun, and I liked him a lot. He was really sweet, and it was fun getting to know him. Jane, do you play video games? I have been trying to recently. I've been playing Roblox just to impress. <laughs> I Just like to impress with my baddies? Yeah. She's gonna force me to play that. Oh my god, would you be down? I would be down. Okay, yay! I'm I a Roblox YouTuber. You so fun. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, wait, you can teach me things too. It was so thank nice you. to meet you. Nice I'm meet so you sorry too. if I was funny, but thank you. No, no, you're good. I understand. <laughs> yay. That went way better than I expected. Honestly, I think Regine was the person I vibed with the most, and I think I actually made the best decision. Thank goodness my friends didn't ruin that for me. That was really fun.